for some reason, I want to chronicle all this. Dad died yesterday. I've been crying a lot. And I just think it's going to be interesting to maybe in the future to have this stuff for me. I realized like with him gone I'm so thankful that it just just for me to, to do that road trip around the country and to film the fuck out of it it's an amazing memory and if YouTube is the reason why I filmed the fuck out of everything then whatever whatever motivation I need whatever leverage I need on this thing to get shit done weaponize it, systemize it, like, fuck, whatever. I, I mean, anyway, I think I'm justifying that more to myself than to you guys. At this moment, I'm not bawling or sobbing, and I'll probably film some of that because that's the reality. This calm, collected, that's not the reality. Um, but it's, it's been hard. It's probably going to get worse. Um, all this kind of happened in a hurry with dad and so no plan was in place for the business of death it's a real fucking thing the cremation the funeral the services all that um we're getting him cremated and i want to drive him back across the country to california and do, do another road trip with him and bring him back to the people that loved him. He's loved here by two people that know and remember him from when he was here. But there's 80 back in Cali that would probably appreciate some closure. And I'm not going to get religious with this because it's unimportant to me, as, un as unimportant as it was to dad. But I do believe in energy. I believe strongly in energy. So I want energy to go up <laughs> wherever he is because he was absolutely love. And I want to do a road trip with him. Only listening to music. No podcast for distraction. No books. Just music. Talking to the camera, thinking. Um... about energy and I just want him to know that he was loved <laughs> I'll also do that buying him a coffin in New Jersey and burying him in the ground in front of three people not really the energy that he would appreciate and he knows I'm too smart for that <laughs> he would never <laughs> that's just the opposite of what he would care about. But I want to bring him back to California because he never would have fucking leave that place. And if he wasn't so sick, we wouldn't have had to move him. But yeah, that's what's happening. No one else knows about this plan for me. Uh, and I don't have to ask for permission from, from Gary. He's, he's down for whatever, I'm sure. that would go a long way to filling up a really big fucking hole. <laughs> Just huge gaping hole. Just chuck a fucking handful of sand in it. That's what this would do. But at least I was trying to fill the hole to do anything. <laughs> Just to even if it's just for me, it's symbolism, whatever. It'll go a long way for me. Better than pack him into a fucking synthetic coffin and put him in the ground in a place he fucking hated.
This is the first full day on the road from uh, New Jersey to California. I have the certificate. I can fly with his ashes, but I also need this time to just figure out how I can deal with this, how, how to emotionally um, kind of pick up the pieces of, of, of that human that raised me. Um, you know, I, I felt the warmth of his hands for the last time as he died. Like, like these little things, these little memories, I'll, I'll cherish, you know, like the, the, the idea of <clears throat> saying goodbye <clears throat> when, when we kind of had our own terms and our, even though it was a short kind of window to, to do it, because um, he, was, he was passing so quickly. I, I got there like nine o'clock the night before. Tuesday night I got there, 28. Uh, spent the night in the bed, the bed next to him. And um, just told him stories of like things I remembered that as a son I appreciated so much. Like the things he did, the effort, the intelligence behind everything he did for a child. It's just so grateful. I'm very lucky. Um, and then if I ran out of stories, I just started reading uh, the last book, sorry, the third book of Lord of the Rings. And um, yeah, just, he read that to me a few times as a kid because he loved it. He knew I loved it. And it just, I, I, just to pass the time, ease his mind if he was even hearing me his eyes were closed um, breathing was super labored and you could, you could hear the the chest rattle and um, I just wanted to be there and I would I laid the opposite way on the bed to him and so I could just I woke up all night um, assuming he was gonna gonna die and I could just spot I could just see his his chest rise up and down if I couldn't hear him breathe and yeah, made it through, he made it through the night, and his breathing got worse and worse, and uh, finally he, he died, but I was able to hold him, hold his hand, talk to him, just tell him how much I loved him, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just such an amazing moment, and that's the first soul I ever saw leave, and I'm 46, about to be 47 tomorrow, and that's very lucky I realize that. <laughs> It hurts. Like, fuck, I'm allowed to cry. I don't give a shit. And, um, it's really just, uh, me trying to process everything. Yeah, unfortunately, that was a really long fight for him. And one, he was, with the medicine we have now, he was never destined to win that fight. Um, and I think the saddest part is he's probably only, a, there's probably only a few years away from some kind of cure. But wasn't wasn't the cards for dad. Seventeen miles on the freeway, dragging my heart through a relay. When will my skin feel sea spray? Heading west. None of this makes any sense. Why did I do this to myself? I gotta go in there, to Starbucks, because I'm tired, get a coffee, pretend to be happy. I've done this to myself. I know this. I'm just gonna embrace it. Like Dad would have. My hair was carved in stone. I can finally see the throne. But for 17 miles, I am. Thanks, you too. Bye. Left at the fork. Then Pushed it too long. Left. I've got to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to make it. Oh, shit. No, straight, straight.
Oh, pay attention. Don't film Brennan. Don't make it Stop. I need to go to the bathroom. I need food. Uh, I need water. I need to get some gas. Whew. I pushed it too long. Aha. Stay tuned. This is going to be gripping, gripping video. The question is, do I try to pump before I go to the bathroom? It's good to challenge yourself every day. It does have the things, so I can... Thanks, thank you. They have no idea how bad I have to go to the bathroom. Chicken wrap. Not every meal needs to be uh, fancy. Sometimes you just gotta eat. And I'm fro when my food's the same color as the sun. Alright, successful stop. I've evacuated. I've ingested. The car has also ingested. We're ready to go. There she is. Crossed uh, into Texas. Whew, up like uh, 4 30 this morning. It is uh, my birthday this morning and uh, I want to get to Austin. Yeah, right now I'm just cleaning the car out. How exciting is that? Gripping video. <laughs> I love your suit, man. This Thanks, is so man. cool. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, my man. Cool. To be honest, I'm not even doing this for Christmas. Um, it just looks fun, dude. Exactly. Cool, um, fine. I'm, 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 I'm driving my dad's ashes across country. Oh, cool! And him and I used to wear these suits. Hell yeah! And uh, so it's, it's almost torture because I don't give a shit about Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it I'm getting energy. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. You're getting the energy right back. And it man. makes me, yeah, it makes me happy. But <laughs> oh, paradise! Finally found it. Finally found it. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah. So suit success. Like I don't get time to feel bad. Someone, someone smiles at me, you know? Uh, I think Dad would approve of this whole scenario. Uh, thank you, Gary Dates, my uncle, Dad's brother, for this uh, actually darkly hilarious idea. Thanks, Gary. Wearing this suit was a brilliant, brilliant idea. Doesn't matter how shitty I'm feeling. More people are gonna smile at me than they were before. And dad would have loved it. Like dad, if he's watching, he's he's enjoying the shit out of this. He knows I'm in pain. I don't have to prove that to him, but it's it's making me happy. Oh. You like it? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hi. I feel like bathroom stops are a very uh, kind of integral part to to travel. I mean, you have gas, you have food, and you have bathroom. Yeah, so I'm taking you on a lot of bathroom experiences. I feel like I'd be leaving out a significant portion of what travel is if you weren't you know, with me as I went to the bathroom. The hand washing phase of every bathroom experience for a chef or for any human that matter. Wash your fucking hands. You dirt ball. Splashed out. Welcome to Austin. Hello. Thank you. So <laughs> I got upgraded to the 27th floor. Ooh. Oh man, oh, that is a capital building and a half, isn't it? Oh yeah. Boom. 
throw a party. <laughs> Well, uh, definitely made it out west. It's just been, um, it's been great. It's been, uh, it's, it's such a good feeling to go from east to west and see the, uh, the topography change and even to get out into the desert. It's just, it's just a beautiful part of the world. Everything's massive. Everything's massive. Yeah, but today I feel better. Got a workout in, ice cold shower, feeling more human more um, able to face the other end of this trip. It's not like I'm not looking forward to it, it's just hard. It's just all hard. just had a good cry this morning while I was brushing my teeth. Might have even yelled at the unfairness of life. And not my unfairness, just what happened to dad and what uh, what do you have to go through? This is not, this is sadness isn't for me. <clears throat> um, but yeah, just had a full angry yell. But uh, yeah, on the road now. Super nice. I don't want this part to stop, so I'm going kind of slow. Aren't you glad you watched this video? It's a real upbeat fucking video. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 was your, what was your handle again? Huh? The, the people are going to want to know what that handle is. Oh. Jack, Jack off Jimmy? Yeah, Jack off Jimmy. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Hello guys. Hey, Today I'm going to show you how to do some inappropriate stuff. <laughs> Boys. Boys. Oh. Boys. Alright, we'll see you. <laughs> bye bye. Love bye. you baby. See you. Yeah. Ah yes. Children at a truck stop. That just happened to me. That was, uh, I had nothing to do with that. Probably inappropriate content for YouTube. This is the uh, last night on the road. I feel compelled to talk. While the sun is shining, it hasn't been shining that much today. I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I think I said it all already. There's only so much you can communicate, you know, like, feelings, emotions, they're too powerful, too big to kind of dumb down into these clumsy things we call words. Uh, yeah, up and down. Up and down. I feel fine now. Had a good cry an hour ago. Um, this is what it is, I think. Hopefully the, the pain, the peaks and valleys spread out a little bit so I can uh, maintain the uh, presence in normal society. No one likes a weeping guy. That is just a 
A weeping girl, everyone's gonna feel sorry for. A weeping man is like to be avoided by males and females alike. Um, it's weird, isn't it? It seems a bit unfair. Real men don't cry. Yeah, good luck with that. I feel like the suit is the main character of the trip because people react to the suit and I react to them reacting to the suit. I love your suit, man. That's Thanks, so man. Cool. You like it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. They have no idea how bad I have to go to the bathroom. Whoa, whoa, why are you wearing that? It's not even Christmas. <laughs> The old man in the canyon. Oh man. <laughs> I'm uh, no longer in the Santa suit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we made it. We made it to beautiful Ojai. And uh, we did a nice little um, service for dad. And uh, lots of people showed up and played some nice music. Some people that I used to play music with. And uh, yeah, they came far and wide and uh, did, them a, did them a good, good showing. Uh, and it was, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was really fun at the same time. Had 17 people on a Zoom call from all over the country saying hey and telling dad stories. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. It was really fun and emotional and epic time. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Flying back to uh, New Jersey tomorrow and uh, gonna hang there with a the fam for, uh, <clears throat> for, for New Year's and then, and then off to Europe. More to come on the Europe stuff. Um, yeah, very interesting.